Hey everybody, Mike with Enviroscape LA. Just wanted to give you a useful tip. Southern California is undergoing a super drought and we're getting a ton of calls about uh, putting in and installing drip irrigation. This is a place where we actually had a, a running bamboo. We pulled it out and then we put a plant that's more appropriate that's not gonna spread all of its roots out. It's called uh, Gria occidentalis, otherwise known as lavender starflower. Um, they were green walls, there's a, a wood fence here, and the old sprinkler system was actually hitting. So I recommended to the homeowner, do drip irrigation. And you can see what we did was we actually installed the Rainbird drip irrigation line here, which is great. And this little box right here, there's a clean out right there, so that you can actually run that once a, once a year, let's say, and you can actually clean out any debris that comes in. Um, the reason I say there's debris because uh, the drip irrigation comes with a valve. And it also comes with a filter. It should come with a filter, but about the filter is 99% effective. The old, or excuse me, the uh, filter, where does that 1% go? It goes to the end of the line. So we put a clean out. So if you flush that out, the system will last absolutely forever. Now here's the thing. There, there was drip irrigation installed in the front yard. This was the old drip irrigation uh, system. We left it as is, um, but I just wanted to show you the contrast here. Uh, this is the drip irrigation installed by Enviroscape. This is by somebody else who knows when. But now, uh, this is how you clean a drip irrigation filter out. You go like this, you unscrew it, pull the filter out, and this is absolute, actually has a little bit of debris in it. So you put it under a hose and you're done. Goes like that and you're done. Now the interesting thing is, if I try to do it with the one that was installed previously by whoever, uh, how do I unscrew this thing? I mean, I, I'm gonna have to dig a hole here. And I, you see here, I'm gonna have to dig a hole. I can unscrew it, but it, how do I pull it out? It's not practical. So my suggestion is, is that you actually install it, leave a little bit of height. That's why our valve is higher than the valve there. You gotta think of these things. It's called preventative maintenance. You gotta think of this stuff when you're installing this. It just makes sense. So just a little tip on irrigation and the installation of drip irrigation. Think about six months or a year from now, somebody's gonna have to service this. Do the kind and considerate thing. Leave it easy to, to maintain. This is Mike from Enviroscape LA signing off. When you think sustainability, think Enviroscape LA.